Hello. Um, this is a uh, discussion of the uh, the cone problem we talked about in class. Um, if you missed that part of the discussion, um, we explored what this graph is trying to tell us. And essentially, it's this graph is describing uh, what happens when you take a sector, which is a slice of a circle, and you fold that sector into the shape of a cone. Um, what volume will the cone that you fold have? So what we learned was, uh, if we change the angle of the sector, it's going to have an effect on the volume. For example, if I cut out a, uh, a sector with a 135 degree central angle, I could follow it up to the graph and over and find out that the cone produced would have a volume of around um, 130 cubic centimeters. I could tell that theta represents the independent variable because theta, that's a Greek letter T, is, uh, is on the x-axis. I could tell that cubic centimeters are representing volume. That's going to be the dependent variable. So the volume is determined by the angle that I cut. So the first question when it comes up um, is asking what is V of 180 and what does it mean in context? One of the things you should do if you're going to write this up on a, on a test is, is, is sketch little notes to yourself, or to me, of what you're thinking about. For example, what I thought about was this theta has been replaced by 180, which means the independent variable is given as 180, and my job is to find the value of the dependent variable for that size sector. So I find 180 on the x-axis, I follow it up to the graph, I follow it over, and I make the best estimate that I can, representing here 230. Next thing I do is actually write, using math language, what my solution is. So the volume at 180 degree sector is about 230 cubic centimeters. Now, to interpret this in English, I should try to demonstrate that I truly understand as much as possible. So, when I talk about this, I don't say when theta is 180, then V equals 230. What I try to do is to talk about the variables. So here I say if a sector has a central angle of 180 degrees, that's theta equals 180, then the cone formed by that sector would hold about 230 centimeters. In that statement, I understand what theta is. It's a central angle of a sector. And in this statement, it's clear that I understand what volume means. Volume is the amount that a shape can hold, like ice cream in a cone. Now if you want to take this a step further, if you have the time, you can enhance your interpretation by demonstrating how a sector would look if it had a 180 degree angle in it and how when that sector is folded how it would merge to be a cone of this shape. The next question was asking about the maximum. So it's basically saying uh, create a cone that holds the most liquid. That's the same as maximum volume. So I find the maximum value on this graph and I follow it over and I get a sense that it's around above 400 but not by much. So I write 405 cubic centimeters here. Then I follow the graph down from that point to determine the angle and here again I estimate around 300 degrees. So I'm saying that V of 300 is approximately 405 centimeters. An important point to make here is, actually no, that point is for part C, so I'll get to that in just a moment. My interpretation is, if we make a 300 degree angle in a sector and fold it, you'll get a cone. This cone is now going to be wider in base, but shorter in height, but it will most definitely hold way more than the previous cone that I made. So uh, to get the maximum or the largest cone, um, you'll have to make a sector that has a 300 degree central angle, approximately. Continuing here, the next thing I need to do is figure out the solution to the equation V of theta equals 300. It's an important concept here. When I say the solution to the equation, um, we don't have to do algebra to solve this equation. All we have to do is know the value of the missing variable that makes this equation true. That's the important part. So what I have to do is understand what the question is asking before I can understand what the solution to the equation is. The question is telling me that I know volume, V of theta, happens to be 300 cubic centimeters. That's the volume of the cone. And the question is, what theta angle will produce a cone with a volume of 300? So this is different than before. When I had theta equals 300, I used that to find the volume at 405. This time, I know that the volume is 300, and I have to go and find the angle or angles that make that happen. Just remember, though, two things. Number one, when I say solve the equation, it doesn't mean that you have to do algebra steps to solve the equation. It simply means find out values for the variables that make this equation true. Turns out there are two values for the variables that make the equation true. There's one smaller angle 
and one larger angle. And from my best estimate, I get 210 and 345. So I label the points on the graph. Then I make a statement in math language that says, if V of theta is 300, then I use this arrow to say, that means the solutions are theta is 210, or theta is about 345. Notice the wavy equals means approximately. That's my saying that I'm just reading off the graph. I don't know the precise value, but it's near here, near enough for my intents and purposes. Two sectors would form a cone with 300 square or cubic centimeters of volume. And then I could actually illustrate, if I have the time, one of the cones will have a larger central angle and make a wide, short cone. The other one will have a smaller central angle and it will make a tall, narrow cone. And they will both hold the same amount of stuff, even though their shapes are different. Finally, I'm asked to describe the domain and range in the context. And so for the domain, I understand that's referring to the angle of the sector, which means I only have 360 degrees to choose from. So theta could be any angle between 0 and 360. The range, on the other hand, is all possible volumes. And I see since the highest volume is 405 and the lowest volume is 0, that that would be the range of, of values for this particular function. Any number where the volume is between 405 and 0 inclusive. So here I'm saying if theta happens to be 0 or 360, then the volume for those angles would happen to be 0, essentially producing a shape that has no volume. It's either a plane or a line. Uh, but uh, those are theoretically true, even though not realistic. It's also not realistic that I'd make a cone with a 1 degree angle, but it is conceivable according to this function. So please understand a couple of things before I close off this video. The first is, feel free to write sketches or notes to yourself that are pointing out the things that you need to know. So underline or circle or jot down a couple of keywords in the problem that are going to help you um, get what you need to get, or at least help point you in the right direction. Secondly, if a graph or a table is provided, by all means, annotate that graph or table and show me where you looked. Show me what you did. Show me what you came up with. Be careful when doing solve problems. Solve doesn't mean you have to do algebra, but it does mean that you have to interpret the graph. And something that might happen in some cases with solve is you might have more than one solution. It's important not to stop after you answer the question once, and just to make sure that there might be more than one solution, go back and look at your graph and see if there are any other places where the volume equals 300 in this case. Finally, whenever you write something up, you should strive to write using math language, and then you should strive in context to translate what the math language is trying to say. This is the best way to demonstrate understanding in this particular case, is showing a language of mathematics that is new to you, and the language of English, which should be pretty common for you. And so you can connect your understanding by saying, this mathy statement means this to me. Don't try to copy my work. Instead, try to think of a test as a chance to demonstrate what you know and what you understand in the best way that you know how. Um, I hope this is helpful. You guys have a great day.